In this video, we'll explain how the principle of final succession supports the claim that a rock layer on one continent formed at the same time as a layer formed on another continent. You will be filling out this explanation at the bottom of page 196 in your HMH, HMH book. So let's get started. Final succession, using fossils to find the geological age of rocks. So fossils can be used to date the age of rocks. Evidence for faunal succession. The fossil record, fossils show up in the geologic record in a definite, predictable, regular order. So what that means is fossils are the indicators of something that lived a long time ago. Those things only lived for certain, for specific amounts of time, and so they're only found in certain places in the fossil record. So, fossils only existed for short periods of time at certain periods of time, and they're only found, and they're found in order in the fossil record. So these lived first, they died, these lived next, they died, these lived next, they died. So you find them in order in the fossil record. This is a definite, predictable, regular order that always exists. Because of this, any period of geologic time can be recognized by its fossil content. So if we find this fossil, we know that that age of rock must be in the lower Cambrian period we find this fossil, we know the age of the rock is in the Ordovician period. So because of this, fossils can be used to identify the relative age of the layers of rock formation. So if we know fossils only existed for certain periods of time, we can use that to identify the age of the rock. So this rock has these fossils in it. Well, these fossils only lived for these periods of time. Here, 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 and here, and here. So, we know that it must have happened at this age. If we see this fossil in it, we know that that rock layer must be a little bit younger. Again, we're using the idea that, again, the oldest layers are always on the bottom, and the youngest layers are always going to be on the top because they were laid down more recently. So, if we know, if we can, if we see what fossils are in the rock, we can know the relative age of that rock because those fossils only lived on Earth at a certain time. Since the fossils determine the age of rocks, geologists can connect layers of rock that are separated by long distances. So no matter what the layer of rock is, if you find certain fossils in it, you know the age of that rock, even if it's a different kind of rock. So, we have this fossil on this one continent, we have this fossil on another continent, even though it's different rock, we know that the age of that rock must be old. We find this fossil on one continent, this fossil on the other continent, and again, we know that this rock is younger, right, and on and on. So, in this case, we have a layer of rock that was not laid down on this, or it was worn away. So what could have happened is that this might have been exposed, this, this landform might have been exposed and this layer was worn away on this continent, um, leaving a, an incomplete record, but it was not worn away on this continent. Either way, final succession can be used to date the age of rock and then we can correlate that on different continents. So now you should have enough evidence to be able to explain how does, final, how does the principle of final succession support the claim that a rock layer on one continent formed at the same time as a layer on another continent? What is the evidence and reasoning behind this? Please respond to that and put it in your HMH book on page 196. Let's give you a piece of uh, evidence to help get you started on this process. So. How does the principle of final succession support the claim that rock layer on one continent formed at the same time as the layer on another continent? 
Well, the fossil record shows that fossils were deposited in, in a predictable order. That's the first piece or one of the first pieces that you can write down in this area and then continue from there. In addition, do not forget to do this. Scientists can use specific combination of fossils and rock layers to correlate layers in different parts of the world, draw lines connecting the European and Australian layers. So all you have to do is draw lines connecting the layers that are equal, showing that that fossil um, determines the age of this rock, so that means that this age of this rock must be the same because that fossil existed at only one time in Earth's history due to the predictable ordered fossil record. If you have further questions, please see your science teacher.